maximizing your moment right now. This is your moment to just love on you, take care of yourself. Seven deep breaths through your nose. Seven deep breaths through your nose. Seven deep breaths through your nose. Mouth closed. Deep breaths through your Seven more deep breaths in your nose.
But then, then I asked for my godfather. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen him in about three years. Right. And I felt kind of, I guess kind of guilty uh, for not going to see him. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess because I was having problems on my own. Right. But he was real ill at the time, and I didn't know it. Yeah. That's how long I had. But then when he passed, it moved me. You know. Yeah. Because I feel like I should, you know, I should have kept in touch. What, um, so when was the last time you had seen him?
you know, so you don't, I guess you didn't take out number of houses. Right, right. I said, no, I can't stand with that. So, when I keep saying about prayer, yeah. my daughter went to Wicked Wick Southwest. Mm -hmm. So, there was a pastor Wick over there, too. Right. So, she brought the pastor over there. Okay. And he laid hands on me and we prayed. Mm -hmm. And I guess I got to give God so much credit. Right. And then, all of a sudden, uh, the cancer in my stomach almost disappeared. Uh, the doctor looked at me the afternoon, he couldn't leave, but then he took a tube out of my stomach. Yeah. And I got this shot. Yeah. And then I've been doing better ever since. Yeah. 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 I'm leaving that prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. prayers will be answered. Right. Yeah. Just Not at that time. Not at that time. Not at the time that you think they should right. be. Because he takes his own time, you know, the song says, yes. he may not come when you want him, but he's out of time. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sure everybody agrees with this, I'm sure they do. God's been with him more than the whole world against you. Yeah. And I think you just remember that little word, that little thought. He right. said, there's nothing I can't be. Right. You know, and also he said, he's not going to be more anything you can bear. I'm going to be the bird. He said, if I can take this, what did Jesus go to? I, I can take this little bit. Yeah. When I got a shot once in the back, I was in the hospital, I was laying there and I kept thinking, why did that guy shoot me? Why did he shoot me? You know, I thought, well, we didn't shoot you. Who would you rather shoot? Can I think anybody else I'd rather get shot than me? No, you would know better than anybody else, but it happens sometimes to strengthen you and your resolve. You know, your gun is real. You know, I need to pray. It's one way I can't even slip by all this. And someone said something to me one day and said, When I wasn't thinking about God, my mama was praying for me. My mama was praying for me. And the Bible teaches to pray ye for one another. He said, Pray for yourself, pray for one another. I pray for you, you pray for me. Because God answered prayer. As simple as that. And then when somebody wonder why am I here? There's a reason. I, I can say it's a divine reason. You still got a life, you have a life. You have a life, you have a life. Yours, you might say, well, I guess something in tribulation was, but you're still here for a purpose. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You know, I couldn't begin to tell you God. Mm -hmm. And see, the reason why I raise that question is sometimes our sorrows, I mean, it's a faith thing. Okay, it's a faith thing. And, um, and I, the word faith, I, from an acronym standpoint, I put down Father Almighty, I trust Him. Okay? Mm -hmm. that's, that's my acronym of faith. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm saying that because I look at my son, and I'm going to get back to what you put, you know, your situation. I'm going to get wrong. I look at my son, he still has a kid to do, okay? 18 years old. He hadn't had it. He had, he had, he relapsed. And, um, he, had, um, he, had, he had no words for like 14 years, you know? He, 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 I thought he was pretty much cured. Because last time he was dealing with it, he was four years old, five years old, like I said. He's 18 now. And so, what's my point? I've got, I've grown to the point now where I realize that some things may not get better. You know? Some things may not get better. It may be in his will for it not to get better. But that's okay. You know, and that prayer I share with you, you guys while I'm at before you came is that um, my prayer is that um, that I say from time to time is that um, um, Father God, I, I just um, I, I ask that you not remove my trouble, but that you just give me the strength to endure it. You know, and so yeah, some things may not get there. When you like Paul in the Bible, he had thrown in the Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Three times, just want to be removed. And he said, my grace is sufficient, you know. Yeah. And so, um, you know, and so, so it, like I said, it's a faith thing. Yeah. yeah. But that's easy said and done when you, when you mean, from our standpoint, we're not going through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know. Uh, I have a lot of problems, but you always find somebody else's problems are mm -hmm. much heavier than yours. Yeah. But, you know, it seemed like mine, though, once you get over one thing, it seems like something else shows up. But 
you know, you keep praying. But then you'll soon find out that all these things will be lifted and something will show you why something happened. I may not show you all everything, but something will come to you. I can be home, not even have my, my mind on a lot of things, but all of a sudden something comes in and says, I said, oh, that was what, and I be t I'm still there telling them, okay, that's, that's resolved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That thing, it, it happens. Right. You know, maybe they don't happen, say, like today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. or whatever. It's done, but it will come to you right. that these things will be resolved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I am what you said a moment ago about maybe this way it should be, mm -hmm. uh, way God wills it to be. Right. I, I think back some men, they said Jesus, they said, the Bible says Jesus said when he was going through his tribulation on the cross and he questioned God, he said, yeah. he said, and in essence he's saying, it's not my will, it's your will, let right. your will be done. Now it might not have been Jesus' will that he died suffering on that cross, but he did. Yeah, you know? And uh, you think about the same thing he said, well it might not be, it might be God's will that this happened to him. No matter how much you pray and all this thing. He was like, Pray for my son's health, mm -hmm. you know, and in your case. Right. And then again, I go back to say, maybe it's not God's will that happened. Right. Right. And, and, and that's why we say, if it's God's will, yeah. yeah. it's the, the Lord's will. Right. 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 Yeah, she, you know, no, she 
She didn't suck. Right. And, and, and from what the truth would say, she had the Bible yeah. in, in her hand. But she, how old was she? Uh, she was 50. No, she was 64. Mm -hmm. and, and, and actually, she was a God fearing woman. Mm -hmm. She was really an outlaw. Oh, yeah, she was all over the church all the time. She was just, she, she was that kind of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, really didn't feel bad right. at all, you know. So, from one to one here, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're, you're, you're suffering right now really from the sun. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, what, 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 I mean, what? You know, I. If you don't mean, it's up to you. This well. may be hard for you all to understand, and it may be hard as a, as a mom, but even though you know you did to, Best by this child, right. and sometimes you look at him, and I, I know I had to ask for, for forgiveness because I told him one day, uh, just looking at him, so I just wish God would go ahead and take me away, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And because he's out there, yeah. He, but it was his choice. Right. Like I tell him, that, you know, I, I tell him. This was your choice. Yeah, yeah. You know, you knew better. Right. You could have done better. And and, and I said, you know, I tell him I, I love him. I, 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 I tell him this all the time. Yeah, yeah. But he has to make that choice. Right, right. And I just have to, have to tell him, you stay away from me. Mm -hmm. And that was hard to do. Yeah, yeah. That was very hard to do. Mm -hmm. Don't come back around me. Until you get yourself together. And this is one that, that, I, that I wanted you to wait. That I'm the grandson that yeah, I want to be grandson. How's he doing? He's doing okay. Okay, I'm still waiting for the phone call. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I have something to say in regards to what you're saying. You you didn't elaborate on what you said your son was into drugs. Mm -hmm. Correct. He's okay. okay. Let go of it. That's a habit. But here's the thing I'm saying is this now. That drugs is something he can overcome. But only through God is he gonna overcome it. Let me just say this. This is something I know because I've been out there on drugs before and I know what it's like. I don't care what you say, he say, she say, you might say it's gonna be up to him. It's him and God. God's the only one that you go through rehab and do all that. It don't matter. If you ain't got God in your life to deliver you from it, that's a tough sin to get out of my life. Ooh, it's tough to get out of the Drugs and cigarettes and alcohol are three of the worst things you can get hooked on. But, let me say to him, you just pray for him. And now that's the question. Do you know what purgatory is? Do you understand what that means? <laughs> Do anybody know what purgatory is? I don't know. I'm going to tell you the reason I okay, ask you a minute. You heard it before? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've heard people say, <clears throat> like funeral service, well, right. well, they're gone. You're going to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what's said. Right. And then, according to what I understand, purgatory is the place that you go in between right. after you die. Right. Before you, you are judged. You know, and before you go in, and when you die, you ain't going straight to hell until you get to eat with the Lord. Now, it's not necessarily true. true. Now, it may not agree with that, but that's as I see it. Okay, now you can go with your <laughs> Well, yeah, he, I, I agree with you. He is that they are they are in a holding pattern. That they, they ain't went to hell and they ain't to hell. They are just in this holding yes, pattern it's time. until it's time. Yeah. Until that time. Yeah. So you you don't know. Yeah. Well, you don't know where they went. Yes, yeah. so you, you don't know, know, know where. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Go ahead. Now I'm just listening. Oh. You're talking about your son. You know have a problem and you don't want to deal with it, you know, until it gets straight. But it's your son, you know, that has a drug problem. On um, another note, I have a daughter that's worse than that. She doesn't have a drug problem, but she has not a split personality. She has a spirit that is very unforgiving to her, but it has a lot to do with my mother. You know, when my mother was living around, she really acts more like my mother used to act with me. 
And it's kind of hard to deal with it because just like you say, you sit up and say it, your son, you know, he wish, you know, he'd be better off. Now here, sometimes I feel that way about her because of the calamity and problems she creates, you know. We can't function as a family because she's always in the field doing, you know, something stupid. She's 40 years old, but a lot of times she acts like she's much younger, you know, doing stupid stuff. Her son is 24. He got more common sense than his mom. And that sounds strange. That seems strange to me. You would think it'd be the, you know, the other way around. But she's always doing something ignorant, something thought of, something stupid. You know, and when she does all this stuff, she wants to blame other folks. You know, it ain't never me. Yeah, it ain't never you. I'm just I understand. It. But it's always you. You yeah. need this. Yes, yeah. ma'am. And, and, and you looking at me like, you are you in the left field. How, you, how, you, how can you put me there when you are already there? You know what I'm saying? Good example. This car I had, I was determined to get this car out of the dealership. Because these people didn't want to work with me. Never been late, we paid it up, and I wanted to roll the payment to the end of the contract. Well, they didn't want to do that, and they give me flex, so I said, I'm going to beat them that damn game. The dealership is like, okay, I'll sell you this car. We know you're going to have some problems somewhere along the line. When you start having problems, we're going to snatch this car, take it back, redo it, and sell it to you. So you done made eight thousand dollars off of me, and we finna jack this car back up, and we gonna make eight thousand plus. Well, I beat them at their own game. I start working on trying to get this car in December, and praise God, I finally got a, a credit union to pick up the balance and pay it out. I have to pay them back, but it's not with the dealership. So we sitting in the office, and the man calls the lady, and she's holding the phone. It's a Spanish lady, like I know she that. How did this excuse person nigga get this car from under us? Because this is the game that we play with everybody that comes through this door to get a car from us. But I snatched the car and it's with a credit union and paid it off so they're not the lean holders on the car. Uh, I went through my credit union at church, but they are small credit unions and what these big honcho credit unions tell them they had to freeze this check before I could get it to pay it off, so I had to keep on going. So I'm not stopping. I went to the credit union, my daughter, where she is, and this man, you know how they do pay for me, da 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 da. Well, to make a long story short, they picked up the balance and paid this car off. Mm -hmm. Now, my daughter knew that I didn't have the money to get, you have to have full coverage insurance for their refinancing. So uh, you already know all of this, and you supposed to be working out with me, and then when I ask you about the money, you should go left field and flip, and start, you know, acting a fool and clowning. So I come back to this apartment. This was last week, and sit out there in the front in my car, and I said, Lord, I need some help. I said, you know what I'm trying to do. Now, I'm talking in my head, but I'm looking at you like y'all sitting out. And it was a nice day, the wind was blowing, pretty day. And I'm sitting there in my car, I said, Lord, I need some help. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get this car refinanced so I can get my other bills straight because everything that I pay is all out of whack trying to keep this car. This lady comes through there with her dog and she said, Miss John, what you doing? I said, I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to get some money to get my um, sure coverage, you know, I didn't tell her the whole thing. I say, and I don't have no money, and they won't wait till I get my check. She went around to her apartment and come back, and she said, could you take me to get some chicken? I said, yeah, I can do that. She said, well, meet me at the apartment. So when I went back around there to pick up, she said, I'll let you have burn. I told her, she didn't know how much I needed. I said, I need 200. She said, I'll let you borrow 200. First time I ever, I ain't never asked her for no money. She said, I'll let you borrow if you give it back to me on the third. And I sit down and I said, thank you, God. I took the money, that was Thursday. I went and got my insurance because we had to go back to the credit union 
and I had went to the Urban League to, for them to pay half of my bill. They paid seventy five dollars. I had to pay the balance, so I got out and done. And I said, "Thank you, God." Mm -hmm. First time I ain't never asked a lady for no money, and I really wasn't asking her. She just asked me, "What did I? Yeah. What was I trying to do?" Yeah, so, so I mean, that was how did that connect with with Miss Alberta? God, how many times has God gotten tired of us? Yes. Do 
doing the same dumb thing, like the stupid things over and over again. And how many times did he forgive us? You know? I, I, I know I know it gets it gets it gets it gets it wears us out. How many times do we worn him out? Yeah. Oh Lord, please give me one more chance. Give me one more chance. And I'll do it right. Uh, that would be really you know? Yeah. You know what my mother used to call me, and I'm gonna let you tell me what it meant. She's called the prodigal son. Why did my mom call me the prodigal son? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Count me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, That's all right. Yeah. yeah. And that kitchen, somehow still wearing missing. 
I, I don't like you. I can't trust you. I have to watch you everywhere. See, and that was caused by, I think my brother poisoned the mind or my older brother went and died. Anyway, he didn't tell us stuff like that. But this is the only time you were on drugs, though, right? Huh? Yeah, I was on drugs. Okay. It so was. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Imagine her thoughts. Right. I mean, think about yes. it. Think about it. You didn't have a healthy relationship with yourself, so how can you have a healthy relationship with her? My point is just here. Go ahead. First person, people that really against you your family. That's your first people. Your nemesis is your family. Wait, 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 wait. Did you know something? But, no, your nemesis is right wait, here. Let me just, let me just say this. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, in being against you, they feel like you'll steal. That's the first thing you're going to steal. Well, did you ever steal? No, 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 that's not what you're saying. What is, no, I did steal from them. Anyway, the brothers and sisters, I go to their house, yeah. they want to watch me. What's the thing? You may have stolen from her, but you still in your sex. Well, what I was doing. Well, in other words, you take it from your own life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You never have a relationship with yourself, so how do you expect somebody to have a healthy relationship with you? It was unhealthy, it was ungodly, it was unholy, your relationship with your own yeah, self. Right. Well, yeah. so, well, let me finish. You got to I 
tell them that all the time. I call the children now because the children are wrong. And I don't tell them, y'all need to call me. Yeah. Tell your mother to call me. Come see me to do something, you know. So you can call right now. And see, the problem is that I had to come home with my life. Right, right. I couldn't just, could just keep. And see, that can make both your stories. And that's when your mother was calling you the prodigal son, the prodigal daughter, the yeah. prodigal son. I mean, it's like, hey, you, you're here at home, and you're stepping out to the wild country, and then you go back, and then you, you, still, you still want to go out to that wild country from time to time, and then you want to go back. I mean, let's face it, in between times, that trust, love, and respect that we've talked about here before, right. it's, it's, it's being. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, See, that's real. Roland just, I mean, he just left here, you know, right. he just left me. Right. And I know he been in my closet. I said, now something is missing. Yeah. 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 And I look up there, I said, the woman, the other woman was coming. I go and, and I look in the jail box. I said, oh my God, so my brain is gone. I mean, you don't walk, I don't walk with you up to the bus stop, not knowing that all my stuff is, is, is in that back uh -huh. You know, and, and you don't laugh and grin with me, you know, I done gave you my money to get you on the bus. Uh -huh. And you done you know, already took the stuff from me. You done already took the stuff from me. You done already took the stuff from me. Let's uh, I'm trying to help you. Okay. So, yeah. 
friend has lost his chest. Appreciate everybody. It's a good discussion, as always. And Mr. Lonnie, appreciate you uh, being a part of the discussion. You come back.